Did you know you can bring your last inspection data over to GIS? A common desire for many organizations is to share that last inspection information to a variety of users via ArcGIS. Simply being able to see the last inspected OCI of an asset on a map is a powerful tool. Today, we'll take a look at how to access that information during your GIS integration setup. Let's take a look at setting up Cartograph to push the current inspection or the last inspection performed on any asset in the system over to GIS so that we can uh, visualize and interact and uh, work with that data. We're going to start off by looking at Cartograph uh, in the GIS integrations page and look at an example of a, a current uh, integration I have established here for signs. Uh, as you can see, this looks like a, a pretty typical integration, uh, a handful of fields that are mapped uh, between the GIS layer and the Cartograph sign uh, record type. What we want to do uh, to make sure that this is all going to work right is to ensure two things are in place first before we modify our integration to push that inspection data over. The first thing is we need to make sure that in the GIS layer there is a field uh, to map over the current inspection ID so that we're able to link uh, that current inspection record um, to the sign record. And as you can see here in my GIS layer, uh, I have created a current inspection ID field. The second thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have fields created for all the inspection data that you want to bring over for that asset. Uh, so in this case, I've created a, a set of fields here, inspected by, inspected OCI, inspected OCR. Um, it really just depends on what information from that inspection record uh, that exists in Cartograph that you want to bring over in GIS. Uh, this could be as little or as many as you like, uh, but that critical piece is that having that current inspection ID. Once you have those uh, fields created in the GIS layer, uh, the next step then would be to either create a new association uh, between uh, the assets in Cartograph and the layer for that asset in GIS or modify an existing uh, association like I have today. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this association just to show you what this would look like. Uh, and this would apply for both cases. You would uh, modify any field mappings and then uh, the last step would be to first map your current inspection ID to the current inspection ID in Cartograph. So now we can see those those are mapped and it's going to give us access to the inspection record set. Then we would come down to our inspection fields and we'd be able to map those. So I'll just do a few of those to give you an example. Uh, to get at those inspection fields, what we're going to need to go is go down to that current inspection ID field on the Cartograph side and click on this little plus sign. That's going to open up uh, that record set or that table for us and give us access to those fields. So in this case, since I picked inspected by, I could pick the inspected by field. I could also do inspected OCI, um, come down here, crack it open and map that to the inspected OCI field. I would continue on here mapping all my fields uh, and then when I was done, I'd go ahead and save. Uh, the normal sync process would kick in. It would run an, an immediate sync or an initial sync if this was a new association and you would get that inspection data that current or the most recent inspection on those assets pushed over to populate these fields. So let's take a look at what that would look like in GIS. So as I come over, um, I've got the, the data now linked into a sign layer and I'm able to start to visualize uh, particular information about this. So right now in this map example, um, this is just a simple web map showing my signs layer, but I'm symbolizing based off the current inspected OCI. If we look at the legend here, we can see that the green colors indicate that it's a higher OCI, whereas the red colors are starting to indicate a, a poorer uh, OCI for that particular sign. You're able to click on any particular sign record and see you know, all that great detailed information that's coming across from our association uh, in our GIS integration site, uh, area. So we're able to come down here and scroll to the bottom and see that inspection data. So I can see that Quint inspected this back uh, several years ago. Um, and put some notes in there, he said the sign was in pretty bad shape and, and gave it an A40.83 uh, from an inspection standpoint. So just, uh, you know, illustrates a really uh, powerful tool of visualizing your inspection data. You can very quickly see uh, on the map areas that might need a little bit more attention. Uh, you need to get out and do more inspections. Another take on uh, interacting with this data would be to visualize it uh, from a timeline of how long ago the signs were inspected. So as my darker colors um, indicate, there's been a longer period in months since they were last inspected. So uh, my area here is in, in pretty poor shape from an inspection standpoint. I really need to get out there. 
but I can see that in this particular north, uh, you know, west area of the city, we do have some of these yellow dots where they were more recently inspected. Uh, I have a couple set of like kind of middle of the road here that look like they're around, you know, the 30 to 40 months ago. Uh, and then all these dark brown dots, which are uh, could be 47 or greater uh, months ago. Uh, so this way you can also start to get a feel for maybe areas that you would need to go out and target. And then lastly, why don't we take a look at this um, from a heat map standpoint. So if I turn off that layer, um, looking at uh, kind of the same concept, inspections older than three years, show me those on the map. And so let me let, identify those hot spots. Uh, and we can see, and this kind of lines up with the last map that we saw in this, this northeast uh, area of the city, there's uh, a bright yellow indicating there is a high density of signs that have uh, the last time they were inspected was three years or greater ago. So just a real, once again, real quick tool to say, all right, I need to focus my efforts. I need to send my teams out there to do inspections in that area of the city. So with that in mind, you can now see the power of bringing your inspection data uh, very easily over um, using the existing GIS integration capability uh, to do some very interesting visualization and potentially spatial analysis in GIS.